Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Not really. It's the world of today. Hello, everybody. Merlin is here. And I, today, you, us, stuff happens. Oh, let me update you on what's going on. Um, I've been trying to throw some cobble in here. I don't know if I really like it, but it adds something. I <laughs> just don't know what. Anyway, I'm going to continue tweaking this area. But today, I'm going to show you what I've been doing on the perimeter little thing I've got going. I keep calling it perimeter. It's not a perimeter. It's not used to prevent mob spawning, as I've already done that by caving. It is used to make things look really, really cool, hopefully. So, I actually finished filling in that circle we plotted out the other day. And then I decided that that circle just was not big enough. So, I went and enlarged the circle. And this is what we've got going now. So, let's see if we can get a good vantage point. So this circle here was the first original one, and I did that based off how far away the beacon coverage went. And then it was just too small, especially from up here it looks too small. Even this one looks kind of small from up here. So I figured it would just be too close to the tower, wouldn't allow for the kind of effect that I'm kind of going for. So I pushed it out another 20 blocks, increasing the diameter by 40 blocks. And we've got this. And I pretty much, I think I've gotten rid of all the water, to be honest. Now it's in the stage of digging out. So with this giant hole, I think this was the last area I had. I'll talk about this in a second. Last area was over here, and I just finished filling this in last night. So I was doing kind of a, oops, alternating a pattern here where I just put down strips and then left the water, and then I went back and filled in the strips that remained with water, and then I didn't have to put the sand as high because I could kind of get rid of the source blocks one level at a time, down to about there. That's as far as I could reach was three. So anyway, that's all taken care of. Now there's a couple problems kicking around. This isn't it. This is no problem. No problems. But yeah, now I gotta get rid of all the sand. And stone and dirt. That's kind of what I did last night as well, was I went around and shoveled out most of the dirt to the point where I've worn out a couple shovels. So as you can see here, there's not really any dirt kicking around, it's just stone left, and I was making my way around. And this inner circle here that I've made, that apparently I haven't finished, I did not, I have a quarter left. So this inner circle is set out for this the stone rock, let's call it, or mound that the tower is going to be sitting on. So we actually dug out a bit too much here. And Ira was helping me out here. He dug out actually all this stuff, any of the stone that looks all flanned out. That was all Iro. He was doing that while I was filling in the ocean and stuff like that. Also, Damian came by and helped out too and removing some sand and filling in some water. So uh, big thanks to those guys for chipping in. But yeah, this I kind of set out so from here on out we're not going to chisel out anything on this side of the dirt we'll just chisel out this stuff and i'll build this one back up and create some kind of effect to make it just look like a rock sticking out of the the earth and i assume we'll do it in stone i'm not sure what else we'd do it in we could maybe try see what some of the new clays look like and give it a bit of color but we'll see i'll play around with that so that's the idea. Basically from here to not that circle, but the one behind it, we're going to dig this all out quite a ways down. I'm not really sure how far down yet, but probably at least 30 blocks or more. Maybe all the way to bedrock. I'm not too sure. Yeah, this is as far as I got removing the dirt. But yeah, basically from here, we'll dig straight down and all the way to there. So we'll have this giant basically circle around the tower that is all dug out and then I'll probably add in some um, natural stuff to make it look a little less artificial so it's not so symmetrical and stuff like that. I'm hoping to have some rocks kind of protruding out where the water's coming down so this will all be like a giant waterfall flowing down into the middle all the way down to however far we go and then maybe we'll have a pool of water down at the bottom or a pool of lava but that might be dangerous. 
But yeah, that's the general plan. It's going to take a little while. It won't be done like tomorrow or anything like that. Let's put a torch here. It's dark. And yeah, I hope to create like some kind of rocks. So where the waterfall is, like there'd be a some kind of stone thing protruding out where the water kind of flows over and around. So it looks like there's rocks kind of poking through the waterfalls. But yeah, um, I've created shush, created this thing, which is not my design. This is uh, designed by Exuma Void. It is a seed and flower collector. Um, I just kind of threw it here because I don't really have any place to put things in the tower yet, and it works really well. Um, I got a decent amount of flowers, mainly yellow, but some red as well. I'm sure I could get some more red from the iron golem farm if need be, but that looks like it'll be plenty. Um, it goes through bone meal really fast. I put in, I think, 18 stacks of bones worth of bone meal, so three times that, I guess, 48 stacks of bone meal. And yeah, I produced that. And I just hooked up a, I added this thing in, which was a filter to pull out the seeds, and it would bring the seeds into this dropper, which would um, drop the seeds onto this cactus here to get rid of that. And yeah, I don't need any more seeds. So that was what that was for. And now it's just off because I don't have any more bone meal and I have enough flowers anyway. So that is kind of what has happened since the previous episode, I think for the most part. And now we are going to... Where'd this block come from? Why do I have an extra block? Guys, is this important? Is this block like crucial for the functionality of this thing? Maybe it was there. Not crucial. Now I am kind of... Um, whoa, hey, doing a little dance. I am intruding into my little diggy hole here. So I've kind of cut through there. Or I think maybe Iroh cut through there. <laughs> I can't remember. He cut through there and then he left it because he wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So then I laid out this um, dirt trim to show where we're going. Ooh, hello, veins. Let's go up. And... Nope. Let's go up, I said. And here we go. And we're, I've added all these chests to collect all the stuff that we've been digging out. So, again, most of this has just been filled up by Iro here. A lot of stone, so we'll have plenty of cobblestone by the end of this, and dirt, and even gravel. So, yeah, and I've been repairing his picks for him while he was here. At least I could do. So, anytime he needed to pick repair it, I would use my diamonds, and I had a bunch of levels. So I repaired a couple picks of his, and replaced another pick that he broke, and yeah, so that is the least I can do. And gave him a bunch of wheat as payment. He wanted wheat, so... Let's head down to the witch farm. There's problems down there, and I gotta fix them. All right, where are all my comparators? I know I have some. <laughs> I keep making stacks of things, and they all just disappear. Well, they're not disappear. I forget where I put them. I don't know if I showed you this guy. I was trying to make a railing. Let me know what you think of that. I think for the stairs. And I'm still not quite sure. I think I've done this too. I don't know if I showed that. I'm going to switch it up. This was all before we had clay. So I think I'm going to change a lot of that to clay to add a bit more color and variety to things. And the floor will change. Who's that guy? <laughs> He's coming to get sticks, I think. I told him take as many sticks as you want. I've got loads. So yeah, take a chest full if you want. Yeah, here I'll probably change this out so it's not just um, spruce. Because everything, if you look at this, is just one color, really. Gray and brown are two colors, I guess. You want to be technical. But yeah, where are my redstone stuff? Oh. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't think I'll die. But should I do anything to try to avoid death? I chose not to. And we lived. All good. Okay, comparators, comparators, comparators. Uh, maybe if I look in the, at least the right chest. No, I have no idea where they are. Oh, what do we got? Oh, some comparators. I'm sure I had more. Maybe I used them. Who knows? Hoppers. I might need more hoppers. All right, well, mm, let me uh, try to find everything. I don't know where anything is these days. Oh, and I took my beacon back from running because I need it to dig out this 
uh, in large circle because the new circle is larger than the beacon range can reach. I will have to put up some extra beacons around every once in a while to dig out that area. All right, meet you downstairs. Whee! What is this? Huh? Just throwing stuff on the floor. Come to my house? You come to my house and you litter? I don't think so. Yeah, let me litter these to you. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, I'm gonna get some stone here so I can make some malt comparators. I mean, repeaters. And we're gonna fix this. There's a problem with the switch farm, and it is that it just makes too much stuff that I don't want. Just stealing. That's good. Steal away. Steal away. So this thing is overflowed, I think, again. It just makes too much of stuff like spider eyes and sugar and bottles. Stuff that I'm not using at all, really. And I'd love to just give it away to people, but I'm not going to go around delivering double chests full of stuff all over the place. It just, just wouldn't work. It's just too much trouble. Now, I could expand these minecarts. That was the idea. And it doesn't look like... Maybe this is overflowed from before, and I just never cleared it out. Could be the case. So maybe it's not currently overflowed, but I'm pretty sure it will again. Yeah, it looks like it's actually okay. But yeah, I could just keep putting more and more minecarts in here, and expand, 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 but that's not going to solve the problem. That's just going to delay the inevitable point of this thing overflowing again. Looks like we have a lot of... Um, Gunpowder, though, which is nice to see. Right, where are we at? Can I get into that chest? Oh, wait. I could just go from below. Yeah, we got almost uh, one, two, three. So two double chests and partway into a third, plus whatever's here. This thing also lags a bit. Go figure. And I could turn a bunch more into... TNT, which I'll probably do now that I'm done with that sand, taking out the ocean. Now I've got all that excess sand, so I'll probably come and, and do that. And we could use this TNT to help us blow up the, the surrounding area. So that is what we will do. What I'm basically going to do is tear this thing out and redo it. <laughs> well, sort of. The problem is I use this design which bleeds into adjacent areas if these things back up. So that has happened once, where this input signal got past two and got to like three, and then leaked over into the next sorter, and then that pulled out all the sorting items and stuff like that. And yeah, basically made a big mess. So I'm gonna introduce the, the design I used up above, where I made kind of two alternating patterns that can't leak into each other. So independent from each other from the comparative signal standpoint. And that way they won't be able to interfere. And if something does overflow, it will just keep going and either go into the overflow chest, which is okay, but could lead to other problems. And so I'm going to set up a, sep a second separator, which will take all the item excess items and basically destroy them. So we will store a certain amount of any all these items that we want, at least... Um, like, I don't think I'll set up a destroyer for redstone, glowstone, gunpowder. But things like bottles, spider eyes, sugar, and... What is this? <laughs> and there's sticks there, too, and bow... <laughs> this guy, you know? Kids these days. No respect. That is no respect. All right, but yeah, as I was saying, stuff I do like to keep and stuff that I can condense is the redstone stuff and the glowstone stuff I can condense. Sugar I can't condense. Uh, Gunpowder I can condense into TNT. Sticks, I'll probably start siphoning these sticks somewhere to this massive auto smelter and we'll just use sticks as fuel and see if it can keep up. And then excess, I do want to have a overflow somewhere because... One main reason is I've died to this thing before, and I know someone else has died to it. If someone falls down and dies, all their stuff's going to get picked up. And if I just make 
have all the overflow get destroyed. That means that if someone fell, lost all their armor, their armor and tools get swiped up, goes through the system, doesn't find anywhere to go, and gets destroyed. So I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is have an overflow chest to account for that kind of thing, and other, any other random thing that falls down there, like the slimes and stuff like that. So it'll pick up that stuff. It'll also start accumulating anything that we do want to keep, like redstone, glowstone, and gunpowder. But anything else, like the bottles, spider eyes, and sugar, and possibly sticks, will just get destroyed before it gets there. Whew! Anyway, so I'm going to do a lot of this off camera, probably because we won't have time to do it. And it's kind of annoying, because in the end, I do plan on just having all this stuff go straight up top before it gets sorted. So anything I do here is kind of redundant. It's going to get removed, but I feel like I'm not going to get to that stage soon enough. So I kind of want to put something in place now. So that while I'm working on everything else, this thing can continue to function well. And we can take anything we learn from building it down here and apply it up top when we move it. Figure out how much space we need and all that kind of stuff. Whew. Anyway, alright. I will begin by probably blocking this off somewhere or creating a temporary overflow where things will just go into a chest while I'm working. Cut everything off. I might start moving stuff over into these chests so that this whole system is empty. I'll probably condense all this kind of stuff that I can. I'll probably go get a bunch of sand and make as much TNT as I can. Stupid slimes. And then I'll bring you back when we're ready for the next step. Exciting. Doing a little dance. Doing a little dance. Doing a little dance. I'd like to get out of this block now. Oh, there we go. Hello, everybody. I just like how... Let's look, let's look at this. I'm just in the process of moving stuff around. I like how this kind of formed a checkered pattern, almost. Like glass, sugar, except for the rotten flesh there, but... It's kind of neat. Every other one got filled with the other drop when it got overflowed. Pretty cool. Burn. Okay, we are ready to demolish this thing for the most part. I've got the majority of things kind of stored here. Our gunpowder. Got some TNT I made. Oops, I got some more gunpowder to throw in there. And we're going to keep these front chests here. And actually, what I'm going to do is I kind of designed this thing a little bigger than I needed to. And I don't, I'm not like swimming in hoppers due to my sorting system up top. But I can actually stop this thing here. Like, I don't need this to go all the way over here. I could have this contraption basically right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it so that it only covers this area and it will stop right around here. So where you see this redstone, that will be right here instead. And the minecarts will stop here and just go back and forth from here to to there, and etc. So I'm going to demolish that, and which means that I can remove this chain of hoppers. All this will come all the way back to there, and that will give us some more room. And then the sorting system can begin basically right here. And I'll either I'm going to build it in the same spot or... I'm not sure what I'll do. I may rotate it so it's facing this way. Who knows? That might be what I do. So that it all kind of fits underneath itself in, in this cube. Just for the hell. No real reason. It's all temporary. But we'll do a prototype here, and then if it all works out well, we'll probably move it up top eventually. Demolish! 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 <laughs> <laughs> huh. Calm down, guys. Jesus. Crazy. No need to get that excited. Just demolishing. Oh, got a fake block. Found ya. Got another one. Found ya. Any more? Any more? Huh? 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 Now we're good. Alright. Now I will calmly remove the rest. At least until the haze starts up again. 
What am I haste? What am I haste at? There it is. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, guys, I went ahead and. What are these here for? Nothing? Nothing. I moved this in. Is that anything? Probably was. It was. Okay, I moved this in. I think that was my last enderpearl, too. That's unfortunate. Okay, that is not working yet. Repeater here. I think it's pretty much the exact same way it was. I still gotta do this on the other side. So all that should do is if they have items in it, they should stop there. Theoretically. <laughs> and I think it'll stop all of them. If I remember correctly. Now I just gotta finish this on the other side and then we're gonna start on working reconstruction of the... Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You see them all stop. This guy's not moving yet because that repeater doesn't get that redstone signal all the way over here. So that has to be powered from this side. So right here, let's get ourselves in. Oh, and it looks like I didn't finish wiring that guy up, I guess. Yep, cart's there, but no wiring. So I don't know if you guys remember how this worked, but I can show you real quick. So it's got repeater, repeater, that. I don't have any redstone dust. That's unfortunate. Comparator. So the comparator reads these second hoppers. So when the minecart gets here, it'll put an item into this one, and that item will go down to here. And that's the one that this one will read. And as long as there's an item in here, it will output a redstone signal through here, and also through this repeater. And that will take the signal, and it will bring it. And what did I do? I put a repeater there. Let's see here. I have a... I'm going to put a block there for the time being. And that will power that, and then I think I just did that. And I put a repeater here. Uh, there should probably be something there, too. Let's see what I did on the other side, but I feel like I did everything wrong. Uh, I'm out of pearls. That's not good. So I need some redstone dust. Let's take some of that, and I'm going to have to just stack. Stack up! And do we have all the torches we need? We don't. I'm missing a torch there. Which means I also need another torch for what I need to do next. There's a bunch. Let's take a peek at this side here. See what I did wrong or right. Now, it is kind of wrong. You see how that's going right by that block? That means that that comparator is going to turn that on. Which actually isn't a problem. Because that comparator is going to turn on this redstone signal anyway. It's just going to go through this first. So actually this comparator will just turn it on quicker. Which I think is okay. So we'll leave it like that. And if there are problems, if I notice it's not functioning as well as I had hoped, I will change that up. So let's do that. Block. Let's get this other guy going. Redstone. And then a repeater. No, repeater goes... Yeah, I guess there. And this goes there. And there we go. So now that guy will get sent off. And he'll come back. And eventually he'll probably line up with the other guys, I would imagine. Maybe. Once they start getting more items as they stop. Like right now, a witch just came, so they all stopped. And now they're all going again. Another thing I want to do here is... I want to prevent slimes from getting spawned in this rail. The easiest way to do that will be to just make sure that it is solid blocks all the way around it for as far as I can get it to go. So at the level of the rail, I want solid blocks, probably at least 10 blocks that way, and 10 blocks in every direction. Now why? I guess they're all stopped. This guy doesn't seem like he's getting powered very well. Does he? He's got something in comparator in his inventory. Piece of cobble. Now why aren't you being thrown that way? Because you're getting powered probably by this block. Are you? Shouldn't be. 
Let's see. Let's try that again. There should be no reason that this should not move. Except he's being powered by this block. Okay. So there is a problem with the system. It's not exactly the way I wired it last time. Which I probably should just go ahead and wire it like I had it last time. So because this repeater is hitting this block, it wasn't doing its job. So we'll probably have to just send it. I think before I actually brought it up. Like a so. And then I just had a half slab here so it wouldn't do that. And then I just brought that all the way up. And then I had that. And then I had that. Oops. Ha 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 ha! There we go. So that I think should do it. Oh, I, I'll probably just keep it like that then. I'll go fix the other side. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is just make sure I have solid blocks. So I'll probably fill in this area as well with upper sl or lower slabs. So that at least nothing will slime or spawn here anyway, because this is a slime chunk right around here. And then off to building the new sorter, which will hopefully be better than the old sorter. Okay, I think I've got things kind of laid out. I don't know if we have time to complete this this episode, but we will try uh, to get as far as we can anyway. This stone is kind of a placeholder for where the pipeline is going to go with the hoppers. Eventually I'm going to have it turn this way and through the sorting system. So I decided to put it this way and it kind of fits underneath so then it's all kind of underneath this one area. I don't even know how big this area is. This is 15 long with the hoppers plus an additional I think uh, one block excess. I also went ahead and filled that area in so those are just stone blocks. So it's full blocks everywhere so this should prevent um, slimes from spawning. Eh. They could probably spawn right there. So I'm going to just get rid of that. But they shouldn't be able to spawn anywhere else, I don't think. Maybe in there? I don't think so, though, because there's no air blocks surrounding the area. There's a few air blocks right here that I still have to deal with. But for the most part, this is all taken care of. And actually, I was going to do something here. <laughs> I just kind of forgot. Hey, witch! <laughs> I was going to put some stairs here just to hide the redstone and do the same thing on the back side but then I filled all this in a fair distance away about 10 blocks or so I'm not quite sure I just kind of wasn't all that um, careful about it I didn't calculate it out or anything I just kind of filled it in and then I also filled in this little tunnel that used to go through here so that at least at the level of the rail so it's all just to ensure that I don't get little baby slime spawning in here like I have in the past because they'll just bump up against the carts and kind of mess things up a little bit but they don't seem to cause too much trouble so with this, and we're going to lay out our chests. So I'm going to try to set up something fairly similar to before. So we need nine chests. One per item, I think. And the, whoops, and the, whoops. <laughs> and then one's for overflow at the very end. I think that's right. I could be wrong. I had to lay them out here. So we got spider eye, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is overflow, seven, eight. Okay, so this one is actually. Where is that guy? We should have a spare ender chest. Yeah. This guy was actually just an ender chest before, and this one just indicated when items were coming through. I'm going to see if I can light these up again like I had before, because I kind of like that. All right, um, so what I want to try to figure out is where I need to bring this pipeline, how far back, and what kind of storage we're going to have. I should really shut those guys off, they're annoying. But I don't think I'm going to do the minecart thing again. I think I'm just going to store, have three excess chests, so three double chests like I had before, full of excess storage, and then after that, anything more will get thrown into either the overflow area or into the incinerator. So maybe that'll be something for another day or I might record it and we'll add it into another episode depending on how long all that takes. But for now I'm gonna build this right now off camera just because it's exactly the same as the stuff I've been doing up top with the item sorting. So you've all seen it before, you've also seen it in my single player so instead of showing you the exact same thing I'll just do it on my own. So it's the same sorter that I used before, the one that can't interact with each other. So I don't have to worry about bleeding over. And it will have overflow protection. So I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm laying out the front here. 
I don't know if this will work. It's kind of like I had it before. We'll see. Hoping to have these top lights to indicate when an item is coming in. And then the bottom lights will indicate when the system is overflowed. So when all the chests have reached capacity, I'm hoping to turn these guys on. Although I might make it so that both of these turn on when items are coming in. But then this one stays lit when it's full. So that is kind of what I'm hoping for. I haven't really tried laying things out yet to see how well that is going to work out. Also, this will probably have to be half slabs around here because this is a slime chunk. But I don't think slimes can just spawn on these guys. I'm not positive about that, though. Maybe they can. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what we got to try to figure out is how we want to lay out all the chests and how we're going to read with the comparator signals. So it depends how many hoppers we have and how we're going to lay out these chests. Is this? Let's see what we got here. It's a regular chest, so let's start with this one. And if we can figure out one row, we can figure it all out. So this will have to come out like that anyway. And we're going to want to have a comparator somewhere. Now we can't put a comparator up against this block because it's a stair. We don't want the comparator to be right against the lamp or to light up the one adjacent. So we can either point it at a block like that and have the comparator there to read. Or not even necessarily a comparator, but whatever the output if we have a chest there, like that, then that could read that chest and would light up as items go through that chest. So that could be how we do that. And then we'd have to have our overflow of some kind. Let's just see. Oh, that's not the right button at all. Well, right button, wrong item. Aha! So we could do that, and then like that. Gotta make sure that we're not too high up. We still gotta get a sorter in there somehow. And if this is our pipeline of hoppers, we gotta make sure there's room to account for that height. So right now, that looks like it might be... Hmm. Could work. No, it's too high up, really. So that can't. we can't have the chest that high. Which means we can't actually have three chests like that anyway. We, we'd max out at two. Unless I brought this higher. Which I could, actually. We could bring that a little bit higher. So I'll have to figure that out. But let's just assume this is what we're going to do. So then we got that, and the system is good to go. And the way I'm going to input this signal that is down here, this is going to connect up to the actual filter. So the hopper filter system. So let's see if, how we can fit that in. Okay, if this is, if we want to make use of that, eh, we're gonna need to pipe into it like that. I don't want this hopper to ever get powered, which means I would want that, and then the filter, and then the pipeline <laughs> going here at this height, like that. Now we obviously have a problem, oh, it's facing the wrong way, that redstone's going to be powering these blocks, but I could fix that with half slabs. If we put all that redstone on half slabs, that won't be a problem. So if I have a pipeline coming along this way, it shouldn't interfere, and then can we connect it? What else we got here? We can put all this on half slabs, so that won't be an issue. Can we connect the pipeline here? Sure we can. Yeah, that's not a problem. Oops. Let's do that. Although, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I can, um... I'm gonna need the space to change out these half slabs. But anyway, that will work. So we know that works. So we can just move on to the next step. Let me get some good blocks on me. So if this is our filter system... Gimme! Give Gimme give hoppers! I need hoppers! All hoppers belong to me! Oh! Okay, Wee. The amount of times Redding dies. He does die a lot. I got to admit. Died in my first one, too. Nice. Nice. You suck. I mean, you're okay. So we're going to do this old thing, uh, which is the non... 
tileable one, and I said I'm not going to show it to you, so I will go ahead and build these. But it's the X-Wing style. At least that's what I'm going to call it. I think it goes like that. Maybe even like that. I can't exactly remember the exact layout of the blocks. But it's something like that. Oops. Yeah. And... Yeah. That's one. And the other one's something different. So anyway, I'll get those built. And then we'll see if all the redstone will work. We already know that we can read this chest. So that won't show when it's full, but it should show when items are going through if they don't go through too quickly. So, let's see. Can we... If I throw an item in here, like a piece of redstone. And let's throw a stack of redstone. Okay, it is actually going too fast, as you can see. That it's not lighting up. What if we put... We do see it there, though. So it is traveling through that chest too quickly, it seems. It's getting grabbed just as quickly as it's not getting grabbed. If we put a comparator on that guy instead, we power that block. And then... what? <laughs> then we can't really power this guy. So that would work if I did this. Um, put a comparator here and I change these out to solid blocks. Then I think if I get those redstone back and we introduce them back into the system, take all that other stuff, it will light it up. There you go, so now we can see items going through. So maybe I'll do that. What does that look like on the front with full blocks? I think it's okay. It'll work. This is all probably temporary anyway. I was thinking I might end up leaving this down here. And we'll just have a switch that changes it from either feeding into this stuff or changes it from feeding all the way upstairs. So by default, it would go upstairs, but we could have it change it. If we wanted it to store items down here instead, we could have it set to that too. I think that's a good idea. And that way this isn't all like a waste of time. Rail is actually like soothing. <laughs> Sitting here working, just the rhythmic sound of the minecarts going back and forth. Soothing and suicidal inducing all at the same time. Alright, I've got everything just about done in terms of the basic sorting. So the sorters are there, so the exact same as the ones above. And they go into these chests. Oops, I think I removed a chest by accident. <laughs> I could actually put more chests. I ended up moving this thing a bit and then I put it back. But yeah, I could put another row of chests up here and just point these guys towards that one. So that is what I'll do. Okay, the next problem, or challenge, is where to go from there. This last one's going to be the overflow protection. So that's in case anybody dies or we get other items in there where the, our main items start overflowing, like gunpowder and stuff, we want that to go to this overflow chest, and we'll probably have the same amount of storage for that one. However, we want to have a different type of... We want to sort... basically have another sorter to sort out these guys yet again. So, hmm, yeah. I'm trying to think if we could do it a different way. We can't really. So we want to sort out these guys, and possibly the sticks as well. So from this line of hoppers, we can't have it connect up to this guy just yet. We have to do something like turn it and have it go through another set of sorters. So maybe, so instead of connecting right up to that, we would have, there's our line. So we could have it maybe turn and head this way a bit and have our, our kind of, um, what do you call it? Incinerator over here. So we'll set up this thing again, but pointing this way with some more hoppers. And then once it gets to the end of this, we could have it do something where it comes down and then just whatever's left over that doesn't isn't labeled or tagged as getting over f like burned would just come along here and connect up to like this hopper somewhere. I mean, it doesn't matter, we could do it, oops, 
like that. Or that's really ugly, but you get the idea, maybe. <laughs> so imagine these blocks are hoppers. It would connect up to the top of that pipeline and then over. So the pipeline would come this way through another set of sorters for the incinerator down through here for the overflow. And then that should do it. Then we can have everything in a nice line here. And then behind the scenes, or maybe even visibly, we'll have an incinerator over here to the left so you can see the items drop down into lava again, probably, just for a visual effect and the nice hissing sound. But I don't think we have time to do that this episode, so we're going to leave it at that for today. And I'll probably just hook this up um, straight up to the overflow for now, and then we'll look at getting the the incinerator done at a later date so for now it will work it could overflow again but I think we got some time for till that happens and I'd like to kind of maybe build the incinerator again with you I don't really have a plan on exactly how I'm gonna do it It'd be similar to what I did in my single player but probably a little bit different at the same time so anyway guys thank you for watching as always and we will see you in the next episode bye bye Ooh, look at all the gunpowder. Ooh, look at all the redstone. Ooh, glowstone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why are you still watching, guys? I said goodbye. This is where you turn off the video and, and go to something else. Leave. All right, well, it's a good thing you didn't go anywhere. I forgot to put these in. So this redstone here is just taking power off the back end of this thing. I think. Um, this one's not being used. So it just takes it off the last... where it switches on. When it gets an item through, this will blink on and send a redstone signal to the front there, underneath, and turn on these front lights. So these should turn on when we get an item. And then for this one here, this should blink on any time an item comes through. And I've just done that by adding a comparator off of the main pipeline that trickles the power signal down here and powers that. And I'll probably have it um, split off and come this way too or something like this. Maybe I'll put a half slab here like that. Is that going to jump up? No. But if I do that, yes. That will. And then I need redstone. Then I can just put redstone all the way there, and that'll power the block next to that lamp. And then that should turn on any time we get items. But it doesn't look like we're getting any items. But we are on with a few people. Or one person. Mr. Iroh himself. So he could be taking all the mobs. What a jerk. But yeah, if I throw something in there, like let's throw some redstone in, we should see this light is on, and then it's also telling us that we are getting redstone. Cool beans. Now go away. <laughs> the never-ending episode. Na -na 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 -na. Fixed it. Fixed. I fixed it. Oops. Also, in other news, Iroh will be releasing his first episode in the next day or two. That's right. This guy. Me. Hi, guys. I'm Iroh. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Come, come to my channel, guys. Check me out. Check out my first episode and tell me I suck. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. It's my server. Come check me out. Yeah.